we've got a million dollars worth of work to do and we've only got a half a million dollars in our reserve fund. I hear this all the time in condominium corporations. But here's one for you. In the boardroom, I often hear, no debts, no loans. We're not going to a bank. We'll special assess the owners. I don't care if they can afford it. A debt on the books won't look good. But is that necessarily true? To help us understand that today, I'm joined by Paul Patana. Paul, thanks Hi, for, for coming and helping us work through this issue today. Uh, Paul, isn't it, isn't it true? Now, now you're a, a, a condominium loan specialist. Yes. And so it's very timely that, you, that you're here. But isn't it true that if I, if I take out a loan and we put that on the balance sheet, it goes out with every status certificate, uh, everybody that comes in will see we have a loan. That's got to be bad for curb appeal, isn't it? Well, it is true, Murray, that uh, a loan or a debt appears as a liability on a balance sheet. And for a condo corporation, that usually shows up as negative net assets. For a traditional business, that may not necessarily be a, be a good thing to take on too much debt. But it's not necessarily the case for a condo corporation. So, for example, if a loan results in a slight increase to a unit owner's monthly fees because of their proportionate amount of the loan repayment, that's a lot more acceptab acceptable or palatable to a unit owner than having to pay out a large lump sum in, the, in a mm -hmm. special assessment, usually in the tens, thousands or tens of thousands of dollars. And that usually has to be paid in a very short time frame and may not be affordable to many unit owners. So once it comes to a condo corporation, it's cash flow that's king as opposed to the balance sheet. Cash flow. Cash flow then is the cost of living in the building. And the balance sheet, uh, that, that debt is simply a number on the book. It's, it's how we affect the cost of living there. Exactly. All right, that makes sense. But uh, I'm still having a little bit of problem. So we've got this loan. We put the loan payment on, on our annual budget. And this is going to make our condo better than one down the street that doesn't have a loan? How can that be? Great question. So once it comes to uh, a, a capital project that needs to be done, so uh, if, if a, a board is in disarray and, and they need money to complete a capital project, they will usually approach a bank for a loan for a specific purpose for that, special, for that specific project. It's precisely at this time that the bank should also be reviewing their reserve fund study and taking a look at all of the other capital projects that are going to be done in the next few years and perhaps com looking at combining certain projects so that they can take out a larger loan. And so basically what this will, will allow the condo corporation to do is shorten c the construction period, uh, minimize mobilization costs, and actually what it can result in is uh, Lower, lowering the future reserve fund allocations because they're doing all of this work mm -hmm. and that could actually re result in lower maintenance fees in the long run. Interesting and very crafty. So uh, taking a bunch of projects together, um, getting a lot more work done so your repair costs go down, the property looks better because it's newer. I can see now we look better than the one down the street and it's already factored into the monthly payment. Exactly. All right, but what about collateral? I mean, I, I buy a car, the car becomes collateral. Um, what do we do in a condo? Do we put up the guest suite? How about the elevators? Uh, what do we use for collateral? Great question. And I get asked this question all the time by condo boards and property managers that don't necessarily understand the security with a condo corporation loan. So with a condo corporation loan, the loan agreement is with the condo corporation itself not necessarily with the individual unit owners. And that's important to understand because if the payment for the condo corporation loan is included in the monthly budget and a unit owner's fees uh, go up proportionately, that's all they're responsible for. So basically the, uh, the security is with the condo corporation itself through a loan agreement and through what's called a, secure, uh, a general a GSA or general security agreement. So it's important for unit owners to understand that there's no liens on the individual units so their personal credit history uh, or their personal borrowing ability is not affected. Interesting, my property value increases and my personal finances aren't touched. Exactly. Paul, thanks for sharing that with us Thanks, today. Marty. I really appreciate it. So the next time you hear the board come to you and say they're considering a loan, it may not necessarily be a bad thing. Until next time, I'm Murray Johnson, and this has been your Condo Connection.